The Dora film has not been and is not being talked about as much as it needs to be. I don't blame people because just the very existence of this film says everything you need to know. Whereas with something like The Lion King, it took actual trailer footage for people to avoid it. The moment people heard the words Dora and movie in the same sentence, they were like, no thank you! This film also gave zero shits with its marketing, knowing exactly what it was, a kid's movie. Which I honestly respect. Nothing about the trailer, posters, or anything said, if you're above the age of four, you're gonna like this. So with all that being said, many of your usual film discussion people on the internet have stayed pretty silent on the film because it's obviously just not a movie for these types of people. They're all aware it's probably going to be bad, but who are we to judge as adults? I was like that for a long time until I was like, guys, there's a fucking live action door movie happening and Boots looks like this. My curiosity and attention seeking tendencies got the best of me and I decided to go see the door movie so none of you had to. I would like to say, <clears throat> It's not awful. Calm down, Dora fandom. It's not great or even good, but it's nowhere near the shit show something like these were. The Dora film is fucking weird and aggressively meant for children, so I went into it from that perspective. And boy, is this thing bizarre. First off, this movie is super self-aware. We even got one of those jokes in the trailer. The movie did continue with this. Dora pronounces some big generic word as a joke because no kid could pronounce it. They contemplate why Swiper wears a mask because why does a generic fox need to be anonymous? Guys, this movie is thinking outside the box. You got Teenage Diego played by Jeff Wahlberg, Mark Wahlberg's nephew, like what? I have to say, not the best actor. I haven't seen what else he's been in, but dude, come on, this was weird and bad. His whole performance is awkward and doesn't blend well with Isabella Monaire's performance as Dora, which by the way made Dora out to be kind of insane in a few scenes. What I'm trying to say is this barely feels like a Dora movie. I mean, look at Boots, my dude, what happened? As weird as he looks, I still think this looks fantastic compared to the film that we will not name. For what they were dealing with, Boots turned out all right. Oh, but the one thing, he doesn't talk, but We'll get back to that in a second. The first act of this film is really just a bunch of generic high school bullshit. I mean, why do these kids' movies portray high school as the same thing in every film? Guys, you're scaring the kids. It's not that bad. If you really want to show them what high school looks like, take notes from Euphoria. The kids will love that. Eventually, you know, they go on an adventure, and that's where things get pretty wild. Dora gets logical with this situation. Again, very self-aware. The character Sammy has to take a shit. What I don't understand is why nobody else has to take a shit in the entire movie, but that doesn't matter. The important thing here is that when this happens, Dora brings her somewhere in the woods and sings a song about pooping while digging a poop hole. Nobody in the theater was laughing. That, that That's all I'll say. Like literally every kid's movie to ever take place in the jungle, there was a sand trap scene. They're messing around and all of a sudden they're like, we're in a sand trap. Like Dora, you lived in the jungle for how many years? How did you not see this beforehand? The quote unquote guide gets trapped in the sand and two scorpions come over to his head, but instead of fighting or attacking him, they literally just have sex on his head. Skip forward a few scenes and we get the highlight of the film, which is literally Dora getting high. They come across a big purple flower thing and when one of them accidentally touches one, some pink stuff comes out and they all turn into the Dora cartoon. You saw the drug trip in Midsummer. You saw the drug trip in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Get ready for this because this is somehow one of the trippiest scenes of the year. We finally get introduced to the backpack and map characters, which, you know, are great, but they only happen for like a second. The whole scene is just really weird, man. I cannot describe it. After that, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the film, and remember when I said Boots doesn't talk? Uh, well, that happens near the end. Out of nowhere, Boots started talking to Dora, but instead of talking like how he usually does like this... Sniper, sniper, sniper! He's voiced by Danny Trejo. Nobody knows Machete. Honestly, whoever at Nickelodeon was like, uh, yo, Danny Trejo should voice Boots. Props to you, genius decision. And the best part is that he's talking to Dora about puberty. It's a talk that should have been had in like middle school, but Dora is like well into high school at this point. But that's not the point. Why does Boots have to be the one to tell her this? And why does he sound like this? And 20 minutes later, the movie ends. And of course there's a dance sequence for the credits and yeah. Now you wonder, Karsten, that was like three scenes. Why did you only talk about those? Well, because while those scenes were weird and bizarre, they were really the only things worth saying about this film. The Dora movie did have a little bit of personality, but at the end of the day, it did end up like most live action remakes in a sense that it got really boring and also wasted a lot of potential. I know as an adult, this isn't something I should be critiquing because as I've mentioned a lot, this movie just isn't for me. But the kids in my theater were getting up, walking around, talking. I mean, some of them were clearly as bored as I was. I don't want to come across like I have a huge emotional connection to the original TV show, but this didn't even feel like Dora. Usually it's kind of educational, but this felt like a weird high school drama movie that happened to be an adventure. I didn't even learn shit about the jungle. But the other thing is, no, it wasn't terrible. It knew exactly what it was, and it did exactly what it needed to do. Which again, doing the bare minimum is sad and boring to see coming from a company like Nickelodeon that used to make weird and creative shit, but oh well, I guess who am I to judge? Should you see this film? If you had a strong connection to Dora as a kid, I guess. If you have kids or are doing some babysitting and they want to see a movie, go for it, yeah. But if you're just bored out of your mind and want to go see a movie or something, 
I don't know why I'm the one that has to tell you this, but you probably should skip this one. The Dora movie isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's pretty boring, way too long, and once again, they get high and sing about shitting. What the f***?